Hello and good morning, my lovely ladies, and I hope you're all doing well today. I was recently gifted by my mom this wonderful, beautiful purple orchid plant, and it was such a beautiful flower that I got inspired and I said, why don't I make an orchid journal? So I was looking through my stash of books, and I do have a lot of orchid images in which I can make a journal. So as I start on making this uh, orchid journal, I thought I would just share with you the pages that I'm thinking of using for this journal. So um, to start, look at this beautiful orchid image right here with lots of mainly purples and lavender pink colors. Isn't that beautiful? I might use this as a cover. I don't know yet. Um, what I'm doing right now is just compiling all the pages. But this is a good one. Um, and this is all from the same book. And I thought, you know, the way I select my pages, since these, this is a themed journal full of orchids, I am selecting images that are orchids or images that are of plants that look like orchids. But mainly, I found a lot of orchid images, actually, that I can use for this journal. So these images, aren't these beautiful? This is an actual orchid. And... And then, you know, I can even use this as a journal card, not to waste the, the full page. An orchid that lends itself to being a journal card because of the size. So all these images so far that I've shared is from this special book. Eventually I will do a flip through of that vintage flower book. It was really wonderful. And there's so many images that I could use for this project. And this is from another special book that I have of an image of an orchid. Um, I've been using that special book in a few of my journals already, so I have two copies of, the, of that book. Eventually, I will also share a flip through of that second special book that I have. And these are more orchid images from a different book. These are from, the, from this book, Eastern North America's Wildflowers. I've shared a flip through of this book, if you're curious to see. But these images are from that book, Orchid. Looks like an orchid. And another orchid from that book. So this was from that second special book that I was talking about. This from what is from Eastern Wildflowers. This, these orchid images are from uh, a set of Time Life books that I have. These images in particular are from this issue. Ah, so many beautiful orchid images. And this is a different um, color theme rather than pinks, purples. It's more uh, the green, yellowy tone. And, and these images that I'm showing is from this book, Francis Perry, Flowers of the World. I've done a flip through of that as well. I probably haven't posted it yet, but it's a book that I've used a lot in my journals. Looks like an orchid, doesn't it? Orchid images. So... Those are all the orchid images that I've pulled up from just a few books. I mean, if I look through my other books, I'm sure I can find even more images. But I'm thinking, even right now, there's so many images here. I can pro potentially make two or even three orchid theme journals. My thought is just to make one at the moment. I don't want to overextend myself. Um, and maybe even save some of the images for later, or potentially, as I'm going through the process, maybe have enough pages to make two journals or, or we'll see how it goes, right? In terms of the other book pages that I'm thinking of using, you know, I always love using music pages. This is an example of one. I have a, a ton of music pages that I can add. These are leftover scraps from the Time Life books that I can make into journaling cards. With a lot of nice images. I love the purple color there. Um, doilies, some scrap images, um, notebook pages from leftover notebooks that I have, paper bag, this one I've embossed, some random little pieces of vellum and cardstock. This is actually a, from a dried flowers um, project that I've been working on. I love the way these turned out. And these two large pieces are from that purple orchid my mom made me, gave me that I mentioned that inspired me to make this journal that's actually in, <laughs> in, in this beautiful pieces of ephemera. 
and I've been working on a faux stamps project and I could use some of these pieces here. It's not quite finished, but I do have a stash of faux stamps and real stamps here that I can always draw upon for this project. I've got ooh, vellum, love using vellum. So that will be a, definitely be used for this journal. Neutral cardstock colors and various colored in the purple lavender theme of cardstock that I think would work really well with this journal since there's a lot of purple images that I found and the orchid that I was inspired by is a purple orchid. It was close to this, not, none of them is actually exactly that color. Um, but actually, it's right here. This is the orchid that inspired me to make this journal. And so these are different shades that is closely aligned with this color that I can use for this journal. And I've been lately using a lot of sketchbook paper on my journals, which I really enjoy using. Um, and of course, I'm gonna use various things as well for this journal, such as, you know, potentially this purple lace, potentially this burlap lace. And I always have my Tombows on hand, just in case I needed to kind of add a little bit of color in my journals, you know, wherever they need to be added. So I hope you enjoyed that um, look of the orchid images that I am going to be using for my upcoming orchid journal. And I hope you stick around and look at my future videos as I make this or orchid journal. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you and bye for now.